welcome to another episode from Cappadocia. Welcome to Turkey. Today I'm staying in this hotel right behind me called Royal Stone House. It's made of three, four buildings put together. And let's go and check this out. That's the reception over there. And that's the breakfast area. This is one of the areas they have where you can hang out here. It's quite nice and colorful. They've got all these glass. Looks nice. Small water fountain in the middle. My room is this way, so let's go and take a look at that. They also have so many antiques lying around like these old wooden things and this one is called queen house and i'm staying in the king house which is over there they got this old door here so that's the king's house fit for a king so my room's upstairs they got so much antique lying around here like you can see an old door there that is an old antique in europe but it's still used in asia to pull stuff in the farms that's a farm working tractor, old tractor, but you use, uh, instead of using the machinery, you use a bull or a buffalo. They got the old weighing scale here as well. It's quite nice. So this is my room here. So you've got a cupboard here, chair and a desk and a coffee table, small fridge, somewhere to put the bag, and big double bed, bedside table, and a shower, and a toilet. It's quite nicely done up here actually. Uh, one thing though, I've been to 4 stars and 5 stars and these guys have given something which is quite amazing to have in the room. A weighing scale. You also get bathrobe and all the bits and bobs to it, flip flops etc. But yeah, the weighing scale is quite nice to have it in the room. You can weigh yourself. So yeah, <laughs> that's the room tour. I hope you enjoy this. also have a couple of swings one of them is downstairs here and one is upstairs in the terrace so let's go and check out the terrace one and the other swing is here upstairs but the beautiful thing about this upstairs roof terrace is the views in the morning all the balloons would take off from over there and they would rise from there and then depends on the wind it would go into either direction majority of the time they end up going this way as we're in the valley and you've got mountain range on this side and on the other side. And also, this place is good for photo shoot because they got an old king chair. That's it, it's made for the king. So yeah, it's good for photo shoot from here. You'll be able to see all the balloons. So now tomorrow, I've got to wake up early to see the balloons. Normally, the balloon ride takes early in the morning. If you do book, if you do decide to go, you have to wake up 5.30 or five o'clock in the morning. They'll pick you up in a minibus and take you to their locations where they take off from. But I should be able to enjoy all of that from here. I do have a balloon ride next week. So I'm gonna go up there, but for now, I'm just gonna observe them from here. And they also got these old, a lot of antiques lying around all over this hotel. So yeah, it's a pretty nice place to stay. I'm paying currently 12 pound per night. Uh, depends on the season when you come here. And the breakfast is included as well. So it's really nice for 12 pound. That's about $15 per night, which is not a bad price. Good morning from Cappadocia. It's uh, six in the morning here, and I'm here waiting outside my hotel next to this big fire. Just waiting for the balloon company to pick me up. Today I'll be going in the hot air balloon. So let's see how that goes. I think they should be arriving in the next 10 minutes, so I'll see you in the balloon. So I made it to the side where they're flying the balloon from. It's a bit noisy here. As you can see behind me, they're pumping the air in the balloon. And they're gonna start. There's another two balloons on this side. That one's got fire going in there. This is the balloon I'll be flying in. So let's wait until they get some fire in there and get it in the air. So I think we've got about another 15, 20 minutes to go before they get it in the air.
right now I'm in the balloon, just waiting for it to take off now. Mm -hmm. So everyone's getting bored and I think we're nearly ready. Finally ready to take off. We had a briefing on how to land and now it's going off. So they're firing all the jets. We're gonna take off in a minute. and we're in the air. So we have a lift off. We can see all the other balloons take off in the distance as well. Right now we're going over some balloons which hasn't taken off yet. They're over there. We're the first one to take off here. So there are about 50 balloons on this side behind me, which is waiting for takeoff. We're the first one to take off here. Right now we are flying to the Red Valley, which is over there. That's my balloon. So we're going really close to these cliffs. Uh, that is the Red Valley below me. It's called Red Valley because of the red stones. Over here. 
So right now we are very close to this mountain on this side and Right now we just come up from there all the way up here. The sun is about to come up behind that mountain over there in one minute. We're about 800 feet high, I think. We're quite high up in the air now. Right now we are 700 meters high up in the air and the sun's gonna come up any minute in that direction.
at uh, one kilometer height now and we're doing 360. Um, you can see the sun is coming up in that direction. Everything here looks small. <laughs> All the other balloons are flying right over there. We're the highest one at the minute. The sun is about to come up now. It's right behind there. That's the mountain it's coming up from. We're just flying right next to these rocks, very close. Right now we are flying low. Most of the balloons are flying high up right now. But we were the first one to reach the high point and then it flew down. So right now we are cruising in this valley. Behind there you can see some of the old caves and some farms underneath here.
now we're going towards this cliff. There we go. And we'll go up from here, I think. So the village Gorome is on that side there and the Love Valley is just there. And sun has come up. Finally we can see the sunrise. from this balloon flight I think we're looking for a landing site which is over there we're gonna land it next one minute or something so yeah finally we made it out of the balloon it's getting deflated now and uh, everyone's getting off it's actually colder here than while it was up there in the air so yeah 
We landed probably about two kilometers or three kilometers from where we took off. It was an amazing ride. We got to see the sunrise. Now it's time to head back to hotel. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Thanks for watching.